Hi, welcome to another video by Jim the Car Guy. Today we're going to be changing the fan belt on a 2003 Honda Accord 2.4 liter. This is a real tight spot down here where this, uh, where this tensioner is actually located. The problem is the tool is made for it. You put it on here and you can't get it on all the way because you're hitting right into the motor mount itself. Tight squeeze, you can probably do it like this and you can just release the pressure and take it off. All right. Now that's one alternative. The next alternative you have, as you can see, is pretty tight getting in there. All right. You can get in here with your wrench like this. Now, they make longer wrenches, they make sockets, but it's a little bit tight on this one. So you can just put your wrench in here like this, push it that direction, or I shouldn't say this direction. Pull it towards you to release the tension, and once you release the tension, then you just take your fan belt off. If by chance you can't pull the wrench because it's not long enough, I have commercial grade which is a little bit longer, but if you don't have it at home, you can use a second wrench. Put a second wrench over the top of this wrench like this and it increases your leverage, makes it a lot easier for you without breaking your uh, coconuts. All right? Makes it a lot easier to pull it with an extra leverage. And then just take your fan belt off. Once you remove it, then you can release your tension. Take your wrenches off, and get them out of the way. And then take your fan belt off the car. And that's it. Belt is off. Now let's get our new belt and we'll uh, get back in there and put the new belt on. Now I just want to point out, if you need a little bit more room to get your hands in here, the power steering reservoir can come off. You just take the pull, you just take it and pull it and it comes up and off and you can move it to the side. Gives you a little bit more room to get your hands in there. So let's grab the new fan belt and uh, let's get this job wrapped up and, uh, and get it out the door. We're going to recommend to the customer that we change that pulley. It's a good idea whenever you have these off, just spin the pulleys just to see what they sound like. And you can hear this one. It's pretty noisy. So we're going to make a recommendation that the customer replace this uh, tensioner assembly with a new one. So uh, let me just give the parts store a call. Let's get that part and uh, we're going to wrap this job up. So we'll come right back when we have the parts in hand. Okay, in order to uh, remove the uh, tensioner, which is right here, I need to remove the power steering pump to, uh, to get it off. So uh, basically to take the pump off, we're just going to remove these bolts here. We're not going to disconnect the fluid. The hoses all stay attached. There's two bolts to hold the power steering pump on. We'll take those two out. And we're just going to move the pump to the side slightly. Watch you don't drop the bolt because it's going to be hard to find if you do. Okay, once you've got the pump disconnected, always match up your bolts. Make sure they're both the same size so you don't put them in the wrong spot. They're both the same so it doesn't really matter. 
we're just going to move the pump to the side so we can get in here and we're going to remove, I'll show you, we're going to remove the other bolts that hold the, uh, the tensioner assembly on and that's that one right there and it's hard to see but there's another one right down inside here. Both of them are 12 millimeters, so we'll take those out and we're going to take the, uh, the tensioner assembly uh, off the car. you have to go by feel. And once you loosen it up, then you can take it out with your ratchet. Again, take that other, that other bolt right here out. 12 millimeters. Right. Take our other ones out. Okay. And our third bolt we're going to take out is right in the front up here. And now, once you break it loose, then you can just take it out by hand. Just hold your power steel pump out of the way so you can remove it without it interfering. This bolt is different than the other bolts, a little bit longer, so make sure you put the right one back where it belongs. And this is your tensioner assembly right here. And as you can hear, pretty noisy. Now, you can change just the pulley, but uh, this customer elected to, uh, to change the entire assembly instead of just the pulley, but you can change just the pulley if you wanted to. All right, let's grab the new stuff. Let's get this back on there and wrap the job up. Okay, this is our replacement uh, tensioner assembly, as you can hear, nice and quiet. All right, the way we're going to put it back on, we're just going to reverse the procedure that we had taking it off. Remember, we took the center bolt out first, right here, this bolt right here. We're going to put that one back in first. So, the way we're going to do that is just lift your tensioner assembly back in here. Move your power steering pump up and just put it back in. We previously took it out of it. And just catch the bolt in there loosely. You're not going to tighten it tight. Only by hand, no ratchet yet. We get it into it snug.
All right, now it's snug. It's still loose. You can still move it, but it's uh, it's uh, just caught tight, uh, not tight. And we're going to put our next bolts in that we previously took out, which are down as far as you can go, with all three bolts. Then you can tighten it up. Now remember, you're only screwing it into aluminum. Do not over tighten it. You'll strip it out and you'll have a very big problem. Tighten all three of them up. Always open-handed, just in case your hand slips, you don't want to rip your knuckles apart. Alright, tighten up our third bolt in the back. Okay, now our tensioner is totally mounted up and nice and tight. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, reinstall our power steering pump. Again, screw it in by hand. You're not going to use a ratchet until after you have it screwed down all the way. Hold the pump in place and just maneuver it around until you catch the bolts all the way and screw it in as far as you can by hand. No ratchet yet. Now we can tighten up our power steering pump. Again, be careful. If you just screw it into aluminum, you don't want to strip the aluminum out. Nice and tight. Same thing on this other ball for the power steering. Nice and tight. Okay. Alright. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to take our fan belt and measure it up against the new belt to make sure they gave you the correct belt. Sometimes they do make a mistake. That's the correct belt. Then we're going to uh, either put the belt on from memory or refer to your schematic that you drew. And we'll lay that bolt, the belt in there. And the last piece we're going to put on is right up on here. So let me get this belt in there and we'll go everything on and the last piece we're going to put on is going to be up on top here. So get your belt on to everything the way it belongs around everything except the power steering except the power steering like that then you put your wrench on the uh, tension and you pull the tension in. and slide your belt. Now, I just want to point out, if this is really tight and you can't pull the wrench, remember what I told you about using that second wrench as additional leverage. Put it on like this. Just pull it. It gives you more leverage to adjust it. belt goes into all the pulleys and lines up just the way it's supposed to. So when you release the tension, before you start the car, you want to always look 
and make sure that everything is on just the way it's supposed to, which it is. Now we're going to go inside, we're going to start it up, and then we're going to come out and make sure everything is okay. And everything is on just the way it's supposed to be, nice and quiet. Next thing we're going to do after we shut this off, we're going to reconnect our power steering reservoir over here. And that's it. We're all set. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.